If you think about the Second World War, the county of Northamptonshire doesn't immediately spring to mind as a hub for military activity during the hostilities. But you may be surprised. The county was in fact home to 19 separate airfields, many of which were used by both American and British air forces. Behind me is the site of the wartime American air base at Chelveston. And from 1941 onwards to the conclusion of the war in 1945, the 305th Bomber Group of the United States 8th Army Air Force conducted heavy bomber raids from here, right into the heart of Germany. This memorial is dedicated to the men of the United States Air Force who lost their lives during the war. On the 14th of October 1943, 375 aircraft took off from various airfields across the country, including Chelveston, to bomb the ball bearing factories in Schweinfurt. The damage caused by the raid was a massive blow to the Nazi war machine, but the Americans paid a heavy price for their success. Of the 18 aircraft that took off from Chelveston, only one returned home. The moment of the lone bomber's return was not captured on camera, but its homeward flight low across the fields of Northamptonshire was committed to canvas by local artist Keith Hill. And here is that painting, or at least a print of it. The original was purchased by a lady from London who was evacuated to Northamptonshire during the war to escape the Blitz. So, let's go and meet the artist. I suppose I've been painting for about 30 years. Started when I was a kid. Uh, I'd always sit and draw uh, pictures of aeroplanes. It then turned into a hobby painting uh, a little bit later on, which then turned into a part-time business and I turned full-time professional in 1992. I suppose my interest in aircraft first started um, initially at RAF Molesworth when I went to an air show there when I was about seven, but then when I was uh, growing up in Rushton, RAF Chelveston was open and uh, the Americans were flying uh, huge jet bombers, nuclear bombers from there, and later reconnaissance aircraft. And I also heard all the stories about World War II, the Americans flying flying fortresses from uh, Chalveston. My next exhibition is in Rushton Hall uh, in Rushton. Um, this is a terrific setting for an exhibition. It runs for nine days from uh, the 19th of November through to the 27th of November. And it's open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. We get World War II veterans there the idea is that you can look at a Lancaster picture on the wall and you can talk to one of the men who flew in it. You can look at a tank and you can talk to the gunner. You can look at a railway engine on the engine sheds in, in Wellingborough and you can talk to one of the drivers. It's, it's that sort of thing. Uh, all the paintings are obviously for sale um, and we take commissions and there's lots of limited edition prints. Uh, there will be quite a few World War II veterans there. We've got some military vehicles coming. Um, it's also the time that uh, a plaque that done in the Rushton Memorial Clinic and has now been transferred to Rushton Hall will be rededicated. This plaque uh, commemorates all those from Rushton who were killed during World War II. I think it's important to uh, remember things like the Second World War and also conflicts that are going on today. Uh, the artist can put in some emotion to a picture uh, that probably is difficult for somebody to do just recording it in a book, um, especially the World War II. And I like to paint the real thing because I work often with World War II veterans, so I get the first-hand accounts and then I can put it down. Uh, it's not just World War II, of course. Uh, the painting that I'm working on at the moment is one from Operation Odyssey Dawn, the conflict in Libya at the moment. So, uh, again, it's, it's something these aircraft are shown coming back after a mission refuelling the aircraft uh, that will uh, fly out to Libya. The exhibition uh, is completely free admission. Uh, the car parking's free, it's in a wonderful setting um, and we'd love to see anybody who wishes to come along, please come along. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, we'd be pleased to see you just there. Um, come and talk to us, talk to the veterans and uh, just view the paintings. If paintings of aeroplanes aren't quite your thing, don't worry, because other works by Keith include trains, tanks, warships, and even classic motorcycles. So there's something for everyone. 
So come along to the exhibition and view some of Northamptonshire's finest art. I'm Colin for TV Northants.